Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Service Ability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the configuration of Syslog on the VSP9000 system. In our tech tip, we'll cover the following steps. We'll enable the system log. We'll specify the IP header type to use. We'll select a default here, but you can also specify the circuitless IP or the management interface if required. We'll create a syslog host entry identifier. In this case, we'll be creating host number two. We'll configure the IP address of the remote syslog server. We'll enable the newly created syslog host. We'll view the syslog server status to verify our configuration. And finally, we'll save our configuration. In our example, the first thing we'll do is enable syslog globally on the system with the syslog enable command. Next, we'll specify the IP header type. In our case, we'll select default. Remember here you can select the circuitless IP or management interface as the header here if required. Next, we'll create the host entry for our new syslog server using host followed by the number 2 to signify this is our second syslog server entry. Our next step is to configure the IP address of the syslog server for host entry number 2. Next, we'll enable the syslog host number 2 entry with the enable command. Now let's view the status of our syslog server with the show syslog host 2 command. Here we can verify the host entry configuration is correct and the service has been enabled successfully. Finally, let's save our configuration with the save config command. Our syslog server entry is now complete. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.